The wheel of time weaves the great pattern, which is the whole of existence and reality. Outside of the great pattern are two entities, the creator and the dark one. Everyone in the world of the wheel of time refers to both the creator and the dark one as he, him. The creator is said to be good, the dark one evil, but the pattern, which comes from the wheel that was put in place by the creator, is said to be neither good nor evil, it just is. Little is known about the creator. He's said to have put the wheel of time in place, and he's responsible for imprisoning the dark one at the moment of creation. Some people pray to the creator, calling him the light, light of the heavens, or light of the world. Those who fight for good are sometimes called the forces of the light. On the other hand, much more is known about the Dark One, who is the source of evil and the antithesis of the Creator. Saying the true name of the Dark One, Shaitan, is said to draw his attention, inevitably bringing ill fortune at best, disaster at worst. For this reason, other names are often used for the Dark One, including the Shadow, Father of Lies, Father of Storms, Grassburner, Heartfang, Heartsbane, Leaf Blighter, Light Eater, Lord of the Evening, Lord of the Grave, Lord of the Twilight, Old Grim, Old Hob, Shepherd of the Night, Sightblinder, Soulbinder, and Soulsbane. But in all countries and regions, the most common name is the Dark One. Followers of the Dark One are often referred to as Dark Friends, or they call themselves Friends of the Dark. Dark Friends refuse to say his true name, claiming that it would be blasphemous. Instead, they call him the Great Lord, or the Great Lord of the Dark. It is said that Trollocs call the Dark One Bazomon, which means Heart of the Dark in the Trolloc tongue. The Dark One was imprisoned by the Creator at the moment of creation, outside of the pattern, in a prison that can be sensed through a sort of thinness in the pattern, at a place called Shail Ghul. During the Age of Legends, Shail Ghul was an idyllic island. Researching Aes Sedai sensed what they thought was a new power that could be equally shared by men and women. In their attempts to access this new power, they drilled a hole into the pattern and unwittingly bored into the Dark One's prison, allowing him to touch the world and to influence humanity with his evil. This hole that was drilled into the Dark One's prison became known as the Boar. After the Boar was drilled, the Dark One's corruption spread slowly at first. Shail Ghul eventually transformed from a peaceful tropical island into a sharply peaked volcanic mountain. Just below the slopes of Shail Ghul is an eternally fog-shrouded valley called Thakandar. The surrounding area became a desolate wasteland, completely devoid of life, called the Blasted Lands. South of the Blasted Lands is the Great Blight, which is teeming with corrupted, twisted shadow spawn, like Trollocs, Murdral, and other creatures of the Dark One. The Dark One's influence shattered the utopian society of the Age of Legends, reintroducing the darkest acts of humanity, like murder and war, on a global scale. And this was just a fraction of what the Dark One was able to do, because he could only just touch the pattern through a tiny hole drilled in his prison. If the Dark One had fully escaped from his prison, he could have caused the end of existence by destroying the Wheel of Time and unraveling the pattern entirely. Or the Dark One could have tried to recreate the pattern in his own image, enslaving all of humanity and placing his followers in positions of great glory, giving them immortality and stations above everyone else. A great war called the War of the Shadow, or the War of Power, was fought by Dark Friends on one side, who wanted to fully free the Dark One, and by the forces of the Light on the other side, who wanted to reseal the Dark One's prison. Powerful male and female Aes Sedai joined both sides. The most powerful of the Dark One's channelers called themselves the Chosen, but the rest of the world called them the Forsaken. Luz Theron Telamon was one of the most powerful Aes Sedai during the Age of Legends. He became the leader of the Light's armies during the War of Power. He was a very strong Taviran, and he was considered to be a champion of the Light. Eventually, the forces of the Light, led by Luz Theron Telamon, were able to reseal the Boar in the Dark One's prison, and the War of the Shadow came to an end. Thirteen of the most powerful Forsaken were also sealed away along with the Dark One. Unfortunately, just before the Boar was sealed, the Dark One lashed out with a counterstroke that tainted Sidin, the male half of the One Power. This led to the Time of Madness, the Breaking of the World, and eventually the End of the Age of Legends. The female half of the One Power, Sidar, was left untainted because the female Aes Sedai opposed Luz Theron's plan to reseal the Boar and did not participate in the sealing. See the Watt 101 video about the history of the Wheel of Time for more information about these topics. Shortly after the sealing of the Boar and the tainting of Sidene, Luz Theron Telamon killed his wife, children, and all living relatives in a fit of madness. He then took his own life. 
The remaining male channelers continued their paths of destruction, leaving the world in chaos and ruin. Aes Sedai, who could read the pattern and see the future, foretold that one day the Dark One would return, and Luz Theron would be reborn to once again try to save the world from the shadow. And him they named Dragon. For more Watt 101 content and other spoiler-free Wheel of Time topics, please consider subscribing and check out the related videos and topics here and in the description.